anything in our body is going to move, just um, seat it in a comfortable position and just knowing that whenever you are in this place where you're just seated and you just need to move your body, you can try any of these, co combine them however you like, and it'll bring you a little bit of um, just freedom into the body there. But let's get started whenever you feel you're ready, seated in a space that feels good for you and just start to notice your body, close your eyes or a soft gaze towards the tip of your nose. We'll just get right into your breath. And we always want to start off breathing and being aware of our breath is because sometimes we forget about it after your practice you might have a busy day and this is a good way to come back to it to notice it to feel and know that it's always with you it's always with you but we just forget about it and whenever we're feeling anxious excited we can come back to this to calm our bodies down nice Nice, slow inhales and exhales in through the nose, exhale all the way out and just notice the breath. Feel it. How does it feel this morning? And then going a little further, how does your body feel this morning? Your muscles, your joints. And no judgment, just observing. Maybe a couple of sighs out, yawns if it's there. Good morning to those that just joined us. We're going to be doing just a chair practice. So seated throughout the entire practice, but moving and breathing in the entire 60 minutes. So come into your breath. Sit up a little taller. Find that length in the spine. Lift out of the hips. Shoulders back, opening the front part of the body. And just even after these few breaths here, maybe one, if you've just joined us, maybe you've already taken about five breaths. How do you feel after taking these breaths in and out of your body? I'm just asking yourself quietly. All right, we're gonna take two more just of your own breaths in and out. Very nice. And just at the end of the breath there, we're gonna to start to come into a little bit of control breathing, a little breath work practice this morning. We're gonna inhale for one, just one count to yourself. Exhale for one. Good. Inhale for two. So just counting two in your head. Exhale for two. Good, let's get a little longer here. Inhale for three. One, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. And completely release. Good, let's inhale for four. One, two, three. Four, I'm feeling this lift in the upper part of the body. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Good, now let's do one last one here. Inhale for five, one, two, three, four, five, and then just hold it there for a second just for a little bit there. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. And completely empty out. 
come back to that natural rhythm in your breath. And allow this breath here to guide you through your practice this morning. If you have your eyes closed, start to open them up, come back into your space, a little roll in the shoulders, wiggle out the fingers, a little movement. Uh, start to bring a little more controlled movement into our body. We're going to start off with, with the head and the neck. We're going to tuck our chin in towards your chest. Good. Feeling the stretch in the back part of the neck. Nice. And then let's start to bring our head back to center and tilt it back. Good. Opening the space in the front part of the neck. Good. We're going to just keep going down and up. Good. Your pace, your breath. So we're going to tilt forward. Slowly tilt back. And we want to be really slow here. Feel the stretch in the back and front part of the neck. Maybe taking an extra breath anywhere that feels like it needs it. And keep it moving. We're going to do two more rounds here. Feel your breath. Keep the flow in your breath. And now maybe coming down to your last round here. Good. And then start to make your way back to center. Head back between the shoulders. Nice job, everybody. Now let's do a little turning of the head, nice and slow, feeling out the stretch, breathing. So I turn over to the right chin, starts to move right towards that right shoulder. Good. Now you're going to slowly bring your gaze back to center and then over to the left. Now, if you're starting to feel a little dizzy with this movement here, close your eyes or start to bring your gaze down. And again, Move slow. We don't want you to feel dizzy. Very good. Let's do two more as well here. And through the nose. Exhale all the way out. Start to make your way back to center. Finish off the round. There's never any rush to come back to center. And then once you get back, Let's move to a different part of the neck, the sides of our neck here. We're gonna go over to the right, right ear, tilting the head right ear towards the right shoulder, and then back up. And just noticing what feels good right now. It's all depending on how we slept or, or how we moved yesterday. Good. Full breath in. Exhale. And then start to come back to center. Beautiful job, everybody. Head back between the shoulders. Now let's take a couple circling into the neck, a couple around each side. So tilting the head back down towards the chin, we're going to circle our neck and just feel the nice gliding as you go around the muscles that we just worked on. 
Good, and then switch sides other way a couple times. Very good, everybody. Start to come back, back to neutral, back to center. Let's move right down to the shoulders now. We're going to bring those shoulders, squeeze them up towards the ear. Exhale, lower them down. Good, a few times. Inhale to squeeze the shoulders up. Exhale down. Breathe in. Breath out. Good, last one. And slowly bring your shoulders down. Now bring them down, relax them down. And we're going to start to take our shoulders forward. Good, you're gonna feel your arms move forward. You could even bring your hands together if that feels good. And then bring them back. So you feel this nice opening in the chest there. As far as you can, again, we don't wanna um, overdo it here, just where it feels nice for you. And then bring the shoulders back in. Uh, so I feel I need to bring my arms in front of me so I really know and can really feel them come in. You'll feel this nice space into the upper part of your back. Good. Now let's bring it back. In through the nose. Exhale. Just move with breath here and stay. You don't have to be in sync with mine. You can move at your breath. Listen to your body. Maybe it's saying stay here for a little bit as you stretch and open the front part of the chest. Notice how the sensation's happening in your body right now. How does this feel in your body? Breathe, keep the movement of your breath going, finding that nice long spine, lift, lengthen, Fine. couple more. And then let's move right back to center. Once you do, you might like to just shrug that out for a little bit there and just notice that all the things happening in that part that you've just stretched out. Great job, everybody. Let's move into the arms now. So getting into the arms, nice and light. We don't want to put too much intensity into our muscles here. We're just finding the movement. So we're going to take our hands, our arms, and we're just going to stretch them up, fingertips up towards the sky. Yeah. And then we're going to bend the elbows and bring the arms back down. Good. Inhale to lift them up. Exhale all the way down. Breathe in. Start to feel the lengthening in the sides of the body. Very nice, everybody. And we're just going to keep it going. Your breath. Maybe starting to bring a little more energy into our arms, but that's completely up to you. You can always keep it nice and passive, nice and soft in the fingers, the arms. But if you like a little bit more, you can bring a nice stretch into the arms and fingertips. Maybe fire up those fingertips as you send them up towards the ceiling. Your choice in how you like it this morning. And just a reminder, this is just a practice. It's your practice. Please um, modify the poses or the exercises we do today to fit your body. And whenever you need to take a break or rest, please do so. You can always join back in at any time. All right, let's do about three more right here. So good, everybody. All right, last one right here. And then we're gonna send the arms all the way back down. Nice, right back onto the lap or the sides of your body and just a little wiggle, a little breath in and out. Now we're gonna come back to the same movement, but we're gonna add on to it. So bring your arms back to um, where we were before. We're gonna bring those arms, fingertips up towards the sky. Good, send the elbows back down. And then we're gonna stretch the arms out, tee them out side to side. Good, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it out. Inhale up, exhale out. Breathe in. Breath out. 
good. Now it's not uh, um, timing out the same way as mine. Don't worry. Your breath, your move. Inhales and exhales. I'm just remembering to breathe. Sometimes when we're focusing on a movement, your poses, we get really caught up and distracted in that, that we forget about our breath, just like I mentioned at the beginning of our practice here. Sometimes we don't even think about breathing, whereas our breath is always with us. So keeping aware of the breath. Reminding yourself, I need to breathe. Uh, about five more rounds here. Keep it going. Your choice and to bring it very intense movement, energized into the arm, or just keep it soft. Feeling a floating, more of a floating sensation into the arms. Good. Maybe coming down to your last two here. Good. Your last one, and then you're going to start to come back to center, release, float your arms back down, a little wiggle in the arm shoulders, wiggle the fingers as well. Good. Now let's bring a little stretch into the arms. We worked really hard into the arms there. Let's stretch them out. We'll bring our right hand onto the side, left arm is going to go up and over. Beautiful. Now maybe start to bring your gaze up towards the ceiling or to the um, pit of your elbow. Good, now let's relax that left arm down. Right arm is gonna go up, switch sides. All right, take another breath here. Exhale, start to bring it all the way back to center. Good, one more time on each side. Right arm down, left arm goes up and over. Now this time, if it feels okay for your shoulder, bring that right arm behind your low back or reach for the chair, a little opening into that right shoulder. Good, left arm goes up and over and maybe this time a little gaze down towards the floor. Good, now slowly come back to center, release, and let's try the same thing on the other side. Left arm down, right arm up and over. Now maybe keeping that left arm exactly where it is or bringing it to your low back, a little opening into that left shoulder, left part of the chest. And then maybe gaze down towards the ground. Great job, everybody. Let's bring it back to center, arms back alongside you, shoulders, roll them out. Great job. Let's bring it right into our twist here and bring our arms up, float them up, fingertips up, sit up a little taller, belly button in towards the spine. And we're gonna turn to the right, send those hands down towards the side of the chair, the sides of your legs. And we're just gonna sit up a little bit taller as we take that breath in. Exhale, maybe a little more twist into the body. Opening up that right shoulder back a little bit more if you feel you have the space in your body. Good. Now on your next exhale, unwind the body, come back to center, and let's reset the spine. Arms up, fingertips up towards the sky, belly button in so you can find that length. Exhale over to the left, hands down to where it feels the best for you, lengthen through the spine as you inhale. And then maybe a little bit more on your exhales, you find a little deeper of a twist if it's there. Or you stay, you keep breathing, you feel that nice twist, that 
um, wringing of the dirty rag in the sink. So that's the kind of sensation we should be feeling is after you finish doing the dishes, you've got, you have to wring out that rag and all that dirty water comes out. That's exactly what we're doing to your spine. All the toxins in your body, we're wringing it out. And then let's start to take an exhale and notice how you feel as you unwind the body. Spine comes back to neutral. I'm just feeling that um, lucid fluid movement back into the spine, the low back might feel nice and loose again. Nice job. Now let's bring it into our arms. Now we've done a little bit into the spine. We're gonna continue doing more spine work afterwards, but we're gonna bring it into our arms. We're gonna bring our arms right out, extend your arms out, hands in front of you, spread those fingers nice and wide. Good, press against that imaginary or invisible wall in front of you. Good. Now you can spread your fingers nice and wide or squeeze them together if that feels better. Feel the wrist, the stretch into the forearm all the way up to the bicep and tricep muscle. So these muscles here at the top of the arm. Good, take one more breath here. Sit up a little taller, right onto your sit bones. And on your exhale, start to flip your hands so the fingers come down. Good, get right into the wrist there. Keep stretching those arms out. Good, on your next inhale, let's flip those hands all the way up to center again. And then start to turn your hands, fingers out to the side. Nice job. Good, now thumbs are facing up now. Fingers are out to the sides of the room. If you're okay with it, be mindful here. Start to turn your hands a little bit more and make sure everything feels okay. For some, we're going, um, you might be able to get the fingers all the way down with the thumbs out to the side, wrists up to the ceiling. Or wherever you have lounged with your arm, take a breath in. Exhale, good. Start to bring your hands, fingers back up. And then relax, shake out your hands, wiggle the fingers. And let's bring a little rolling, circling into our wrist, either with your hands in a fist or um, hands, fingers out. Just roll, circle your wrist one way and then the other. Good. Now let's stretch out those fingers all together here. We're going to start off with. Um, stretching our thumbs. So let's point the thumbs out. Keep the fingers in for a second, stretch out the thumbs. Good, now let's stretch out the pointer finger, then the middle finger, then the ring finger, then the pinky finger, nice. Now let's close it all back up. Pinky finger, uh, ring finger, middle finger, pointer fingers, and thumbs. Squeeze the fingers in together. Let's try that two more times here. Thumb, pointers, middle fingers, ring fingers, pinky, stretch. Good, close it up. Pinkies, ring finger, middle finger, pointers, thumb, squeeze. Nice job, one last time. Thumbs, pointers, middle fingers, Ring fingers, pinky stretch, good. Close it back up for the last time. Pinkies, ring fingers, middle fingers, pointers, thumb, squeeze, and then relax. Wiggle your fingers out, shake out the arms, roll out the shoulders, take a breath in. And a full breath out. Beautiful work, everybody. Let's take it right back into the arms there. And make sure that you're taking a rest here as well. We're going to take our right um, arm and hand. And we're going to bring it right down to the ground here. And just like let it hang. And we're going to start to circle right in front of us. As if we're drawing, painting a big circle in front of us. We're going to swing that right arm all the way up. Fingertips up towards the sky. And then bring the arm back down. Good. And just, just like so, we're just going to keep going this way drawing this big mural in front of us. 
exhale, you're going to start to feel your body tilt to the side, tilt forward, feeling out the hips a little bit here as well, right into the shoulders, breathe. Good. We're going to do two more times on this right side. Your last one here. And then start to come back to center. Relax that right arm down. Roll it out. Shake it out. And we'll do the same thing to the left arm. So bring that left arm down. And it's going to start to circle forward and up. And notice all the different muscles that we're using here to bring this movement into our body. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale. All right, let's find about two more rounds here as you paint this big circle right in front of you. Finding that space, feeling the space in the body. And your last round here. Uh, and then start to come back to center, relax that left arm back, shoulders relax, arms back to neutral, breathe in, breath out. And how are you feeling? How's your body feeling? Good, all right. Still getting right back into the arms there, a little bit more before we come down to hips. We're gonna bring our arms um, into in towards us, elbows in towards us. I'm trying to think of how to describe this. As if we're going for a boat ride here, we're gonna pretend we're in a canoe and we have our paddles in our hands. So a little bit of a gripping position here with our fingers. And we're gonna push those paddles forward arms together, hands kind of together. And then we're gonna open them up and bring them back into our, towards our body. Good, elbows in. We're gonna push it forward, arms forward, extend forward. And then we're gonna push those paddles back towards us. Nice. And keep going, moving this canoe or kayak. Breathe in. Breath out. Keep that breath moving as you're moving your arms, your hips, your upper part of the body. Good. So the previous movement we did, we were opening up to the side of our body, but still using our hips. This time we're moving forward, tilting forward and back. Good, in through the nose, exhale. Full breath in, full breath out. Let's do about two more here. Exhale, all the way out, start to come back to center, release your arms, hands back down, take a breath in, breath out, beautiful. Oh, very nice job, everybody. Let's move into some cat cow, right back into the spine there. We've done lots with the arms here. Hands on top of your legs, and we are going to move right into our cow pose first. We're gonna take a breath, open the shoulders, chest forward, belly button in, feeling that nice little gentle back bend. Good. Gaze can go a little higher than eye level. Exhale. Let's move right into our cat, um, cat pose. Good. Rounding the spine. Belly button in. Inhale takes you all the way back up into your cow pose. Exhale right into your cat back. We're going to do five rounds. Your pace. Your breath. Moving nice and slow, feeling each vertebrae ripple up and down your spine.
Right. You know, just a couple more here. And start to finish up your cat cow. Come back to neutral, long spine, shoulders over the hips. Nice, let's take a nice forward fold over legs here. So keeping your legs just exactly where they are right now, um, hip distance apart. We don't have to go any wider, wider than that. We're gonna take our arms all the way up, sweep them up nice and high. Exhale, let's start to fold over our legs and just let your belly soften towards your thigh bone. Now, maybe arms stay on top of your legs, maybe hands down, maybe onto blocks if you have your blocks with you. And just allowing your head to relax for a second. A little release into the back of your neck, maybe even a little shake or nod of your head to let go of your neck a little bit more. Uh, let's start to tuck our chin in towards our chest and rise all the way back up, shoulders back over your hips. And then let's come into a little bit of hip movement, right down to the hips there. Done lots into upper body. Hopefully you're feeling very um, fluid there, a little freedom into the front side. And we're just gonna bring our hands onto your hips, maybe hands onto the tops of your legs or hands even interlaced in front of you is completely okay, wherever it feels good for you. And let's just start to bring a little side to side movement. Uh, just feel the hip creases move up and down, feeling the settling of your right glute down and then down to the left glute. Starting to feel one knee forward, then the other. Um, I'm just noticing how your hips are feeling this morning. Nice. Let's come back to center and let's bring a little tilting motion to the hips. Tilt forward and back. It's starting to um, feel a little more into the front, a little bit more into the back being really careful not to go too far back. Maintaining a little bit of control there, just so we don't fall back. Great job. Let's come back to center and let's put it all together. Let's circle it out. Let's bring a little circling into the hips, forward, and then come all the way back, all the way around. You might even need to scoot your bum forward just a bit in your chair so that you can get a little more space into the back side. Find your breath, listen to it, feel the flow. Nice, and then let's start to go the other direction. Great job, everybody. Start to come down to that last round, circling it all the way back to center. And then let's bring those hips back to neutral. Very good. All right, I think it's time to move on to our legs. So like I said, we're going to be staying seated and we're still gonna bring those movement into the legs there. We're gonna to start to sit back a little further into the chair, as far back as you can. Um, for me, my toes are gonna to start to, uh, my heels are gonna to start to lift up and I'm going to be right onto my toes there, which is completely fine. So if that's where you are at, um, perfect. And we're gonna have it all the way back and we're gonna stretch uh, one leg out. 
hold onto the chair if you like, the sides of the chair, arms of the chair, or just hands onto the um, legs, it's fine. We're gonna stretch out one leg, doesn't matter which one, and then the other. Yes, it might feel good right now to get that movement back into the legs since we have been seated for quite some time working just on the top of the body there. So it's nice to just get this movement, flex the toes there, Breathe and just keep kicking your one leg out, then the other. Good. Now let's just come to one leg. Maybe we'll just kick up the right leg there. Good. Toes to the front. Now let's bring a little circling into that foot. Maybe um, a little circling to the right and then the left, pointing the toes or flexing. So a little movement into the ankle. Uh, now let's switch sides. Let's stretch out the left leg or whichever leg you um, haven't done and circle out. Flex and point the toes. Get a little movement into the ankle there. Maybe starting to hear cracks in your ankle there and that's okay. I'm hearing it for myself as well. Just that little extra air that's popping from our joint. As long as it doesn't hurt, it's okay. Great job, everybody. Now let's bring the left toes down as well. We're gonna grab hold of our chair or the legs. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Keep your bum back onto the seat of your chair and we're gonna lift both legs up. Yes, and flex those toes towards you. Sit up a little taller and then bring them slowly back down. Now the legs don't have to be bone straight. There can be a little bend to it. Good, and we're just finding that stretch into the quadricep muscles, right down to the shin bones. Inhale to lift, exhale to relax. Breathe in, breath out. I hope you all have a chair that has a back to it, but if you don't, this is gonna make you feel even um, more work into the core muscle there. Just because we don't wanna be sitting right back to the chair um, with our backs onto the chair, but with a back, you can, feel a little bit of stability um, of the low back towards the back. But if you don't have one, that's okay too. It's just working a little bit more into your um, core muscle, which is a good thing. Good, keep this going, breathe. Feel that stretch, exhale down. Now, if you like to stay for a couple more breaths and get that stretch in a little further, go for it. Good, two more times here. And maybe your last one here. And then come back down to center. Very nice. Let's start to scooch our bum back forward. Place the feet back down onto the ground so it's nice and flat. You feel your feet, they're grounded. And let's get onto the next leg exercise. So this time we're gonna to start to draw right knee in towards our chest. Interlace on top of the leg or behind the leg, whichever feels the best for you. And we're just gonna stretch it out. Feel it here. If you feel um, this is a good place for you, stay, take a couple breaths. If you're okay to let the head go, let your nose fall towards the knee. They don't have to touch. You can stay here for a little stretch. Uh, take one more breath here. And on your exhale, slowly release the right foot back down, shoulders back over the hips, and let's try the other side. Draw the left knee in, grab hold of it, maybe staying upright, feeling really good here, or relaxing the head down. Uh, 
for the bottom of your last exhale. Slowly release, get back to center, bring your head back between the shoulders. Great. Now let's go back to the right leg and we're gonna stretch that right leg all the way out so it's right on the heel, toes up. Good. Now maybe staying here if you're already feeling a stretch right into the hamstring muscle. If you um, need, would like a little bit more, let's bring our hands and slide them down. Nice and slow, finding a place that feels good for you to fold onto um, on the right leg. And I'm just gonna move out to the side just so that you can see. Left foot is still pressing down, bent at the knee. Left, right leg is straight out, right onto the heel. A little flexion into the right toes. Good job, everybody. Start to rise all the way up. If you have folded, bend into that right knee. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So keep that right knee bent, right foot towards the ground. And then left leg is going to strain out as much as it can right onto the heel. Hands down if you choose to or stay in that upright position. Good. Let's start to tuck our chin in, rise back up. You, if you have folded, come back to center, bend up at the left knee. Shoulders back over the hips and take a breath here, in through the nose. Exhale. Good. Let's do a little bit of um, heel lifts here. We're going to lift our heels up, exhale down. Inhale up, pressing into all 10 toes, exhale down. Breathe in, breath out, inhale, oh, excuse me here, exhale. I'm just doing a few of these here just to bring a little stretch into the tops of the feet. Good, and then start to come back to center. Very, very nice. We're gonna come back up to the leg here, and we're going to find a little opening into the hip. So a little bit of a stretch into the leg, but a little opening into that right hip as well. So we're gonna scooch the right leg out to as wide as it feels good for you. It doesn't have to go um, as that far at all. It can be just a small opening to the hip. And just make sure the chair feels okay with your leg um, there. So you can always scooch your body forward just so you have a little more space. And just keep that leg there for a second. Open up that space, maybe hands onto the hips, hands onto the legs, sit up nice and tall. See if you can bring your upper body, your torso, and have it neutral to um, facing the front of the room. So even though we are opening that right knee out, we want to, um, we want to keep the body facing forward, because we will tend to face um, the opening of that right leg. But we want to make sure that we're neutral so that we can feel that stretch and we're going to start to feel it, maybe even pressing into that right foot a little bit more. You're going to feel that opening into the right hip. Stay right here. Take a breath. Good. Now, maybe this feels really good for you. Please stay. This is a great spot. If you're feeling okay with it and you like to go a little deeper, turn and twist over to the left. Good. Just like how we twisted at the beginning of practice, we're just going to go move our body over to the left hand at the side of the left leg to the chair, wherever it is that feels good. Just a gentle, gentle twist here. As far as it feels good for you, take a couple of breaths here. Be gentle with yourself. Listen to your body. You will know where to go.
Very nice, everybody. Let's start to move our body back to center and then close up our right leg back to center. Great. Maybe a little movement here, pitter-patter feet. You can also um, bring your knees up for a little stretch, a little movement, especially if anything has crept up from that last pose. Let's try the other side. When your body's ready, we're gonna open up that left hip out. So walking that left foot out oh, as wide as you can, maybe a little scooch forward with the, your glutes there towards the front part of the chair, and then just stay, staying up nice and tall, lift and lengthen out from the spine. Relax your shoulders, soften along your face. I know sometimes you're just concentrating a little too much and we want to just come back to our breath. Find a little calmness into the body. And how does your hip feel on the left side as you open it out to where it feels good for you, finding that little juicy opening into that muscle, into the joint. Very nice, everybody. Now, maybe staying right here and just keeping the breath moving, that's great. Or if you like, if you choose to, you're gonna start to turn a little bit at a time over to the right. A gentle twist with an opening into the left hip. So be very uh, mindful here as you're twisting. We don't wanna overdo it over strain in the muscles. And keep feeling the breath, noticing the sensations in your body. Great work, everybody. Let's start to bring the body, the torso back to center. And let's start to bring the left foot back to center. Close up that hip there. Very nice. And we'll, a little bit of movement here. You can stretch out the legs, kick the heels out. You can lift the knees up. Very, very good. Now let's bring both hips in, um, out. Heel toe your feet out a little wider than hip distance apart. Good. We're going to do a little fold over the legs now. So with our arms up, stretch it out. This is going to feel really nice into the body. Exhale, we're going to start to hinge and fold. Now maybe bring your hands down onto the legs, maybe down to forearms, or maybe right down to the, um, to the ground, maybe onto blocks. Just let go here for a second. Good. On your next inhale, let's tuck our chin in, rise back up. If you have folded all the way, bring it um, to a point where you have your arms on your um, on your legs there. We're just going to keep our right arm or right hand, sorry, left hand or left arm onto the leg and right arm is going to go up. Good. So you have your left arm down, right arm up. You can keep those fingertips up towards the sky or bring it up and over. Okay, now let's switch sides. Let's bring that right arm down or right hand down, left arm up. This is my breath. Exhale, maybe over. Yeah, let's try one more time on each side. Bring that left arm down, right arm up and over. Good. Last time on to the right side, right arm down, left arm up. 
and then over. All right, let's start to come back to center. Bring both arms back alongside you, shoulders back. Walk your feet back in towards each other. And let's work right into the ankles a little bit here, into the toes, the tops of feet. So we're coming back to those heel lifts that we did earlier. And we're just going to bring those heels back up. Press into all 10 toes. All right, stretch out the tops of the feet. Now let's bring it and combine it with lifting the toes up as well. So we're going to lift the heels up and then bring the heels down, lift the toes up now. Good, lift the heels up and then the toes. And notice how you feel in the muscles down there, the smaller ones, the joint down there. Great job, everybody. Now let's keep the toes up. Good, if you can see me there. So our heels are down, toes are up. And then we're going to um, curl our toes in. So I'm going to do that with my hands here. I'm not even sure if you can see my toes here, but we're gonna curl the toes in and then open them back up. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the toes, curl them in. And then exhale, open them back up. And you can do them with your hands as well, um, together with your toes, because sometimes that helps to open up your toes even further, especially the pinky ones. They'll start to really spread out if you spread your hands, your fingers out. So inhale, exhale, just moving with breath. It doesn't matter which is which inhale to open or inhale to close, up to you. But just feeling the breath move you with your feet, or your toes here. Good. Squeeze them tight once they curl in. Open them up nice and wide. And it's nice to get those feelings into the toes as well. Breathe. Exhale. Let's do one more. In through the nose. Stretch out those toes and your fingers. Exhale. Close it all up. Beautiful. Now keep the toes exactly where they are. Um, heels down. So toes are up. And we're just going to um, windshield wiper our feet feet or tilt our heels, if you may, from side to side. Yeah. Great job. All these little movements into places that we don't tend to work on a lot. Very good. Now let's place the feet back down onto the ground, knees are bent. We're gonna do one more exercise just to end off the practice here. And we're going to do a little heel, toe, heel, toe. So feet about um, as close as they can be. And then we're gonna heel, toe, heel, toe them out as wide as you can get them. Good, now heel, toe them back in. Heel, toe, heel, toe. Very good, heel, toe them back out. Good. So working a little bit into the hips, the ankles, the heels, everything together. Breathe. I'm just doing it with my hands because sometimes it just helps and you can do it too. Or you can just have your hands onto the hips completely up to you. Very good. Let's find about two more rounds here. A couple more rounds. And coming down to your last one. Very, very good, everybody. Let's come back to center when you're ready. Relax your hands, feet, come back to neutral. Uh, we're going to go through one sun salutation to seal off our practice this morning, our complete chair practice. And like I said before, this is great practice when you're seated for so long, but 
not in a standing position, you feel you need to move, take a couple of these and do them and you'll feel that blood flow back into your body again. So let's do a sun salutation. With your breath, your um, pace, we're going to take our arms up, big breath in. Exhale, dive forward all the way down to the toes. Inhale to lengthen the spine, press your hands into the legs, belly draws in, exhale right back down to the toes. Press into your feet, tuck your chin and rise, nice and slow, back to your seated position, arms reach up, maybe the, pa the hands touch, maybe a gaze up toward the sky, exhale, hands to heart center, breathe in, breath out. And then let's start to find our breath again. Find your space where you would like to land for the last moments of your practice into your little bit of a gentle Shavasana here. Seat it up nice and tall, shoulders back, feel the sit bones onto the chair, arms relax, fingers soften. And let's get right into some controlled breathing. We're going to do box breathing to end off our practice here. We're going to inhale to the count of four. One, two, three, four. Now you're going to hold that breath there for four counts. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Four, relax and unwind the body. One, two, three, four. And start to feel that slowing down of the breath. Notice how your body feels after your practice. Your muscles, your joints. And take two more breaths here. And start to come back into your space. Open your eyes if you had them closed. And when you're ready, just a little wiggle in the body, a little stretch, whatever feels good. And then a thank you so much for practicing with me this morning. Have yourself a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank, thank you, Judy. Yeah, wonderful. You're week. welcome. Bye bye, Aww. Connie. Have a bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Judy. You're very welcome. Have a great day. You too.